welcome back to class. This particular lesson is going to cover those black little streak marks. They're condensate drip lines, condensate drip streaks, whatever you want to call them. What it is is the fabric is cooler in this area and so the atmospheric humidity will condense on it and form little beads and they will roll down day after day. And what they deposit in those black streaks is the pollution from the atmosphere. Diesel, automobile exhaust, that sort of thing. Now, they are not water-based cleaner acceptable. Our cleaners will clean on a scale of 1 to 10. Our water-based ones will clean up to an 8.65. This is 9 and 10. Okay, these are purely oil-based. So if you try to attack them with a water-based cleaner, it's going to be futile. You're not going to be able to get 100%. You might only get a 10, 15% or maybe 60% if you're lucky. So you have to approach the cleaning properly. Now what we have a product called Release. Release is made up of three non-flammable solvents. And what they do is they make the surface so slippery that nothing wants to stick to the surface. They will dissolve even road tar, even roofing tar, with no problem whatsoever. Now you use release on a couple different methods. The easiest method is if you're on vinyl, you can spray it on, let it sit and soak in for a few seconds, and then you take a towel and you simply take that towel and you wipe off the streak. It comes right off onto the towel. That's the easy method for small areas. Now if you have a big massive area, you can spray over all the streaks, let it sit for a few seconds, then take a soft bristle brush or a sponge and rub them, blah, 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 until you, they're all emulsified. Then you follow back with your water-based cleaning, such as universal vinyl cleaner for vinyl, fabric cleaner for fabric, and that sort of thing. On cloth, it's a completely different story. You have to emulsify the streaks, which means dissolve them, and by just wetting down the fabric where the streaks are with the release, let it sit a few seconds, take a stiff bristle brush, and presto changeo, they're going to be emulsified once you start cleaning with the water-based cleaning. Okay, so it's a two-step process. First dissolve them away with the release, then come back with your water-based cleaner, full strength. That will emulsify, dissolve them, then you do your water rinse, and they will cascade right off. And the sooner you get to them, the better, because keep in mind that a lot of cloths are polyacrylic plastic and plastic and oil-based pollution like to stick together so they can be burned in together. So you could get 80 or 90 percent off easy and the last 10 percent might be really permanently or a pain in the butt to have to do it two or three times. Okay, a good sealer on top of this will help prevent because when you come back to clean them next time they're going to come right off. Well, we're going to go out into the warehouse and we're going to demonstrate up close the techniques. If you like us, please hit the button and subscribe so you can see more videos. Thank you. This demonstration of release is going to be done up close on a piece of white plain vinyl. It's going to be contaminated with roofing tar. We have roofing tar. We're going to do it in two different areas. To sew, there's two different techniques that you can use to get it off. This is a wax pencil. Wax pencil. There's another wax pencil. Another wax pencil. This is a hydro marker, which is a heavy duty waterproof marker made out of wax. Here's its other one. So we have two different test samples here. Now the first thing you do, we're going to do the wipe off method. If you've got a small area, this would be like a condensate drip line, uh, roofing tar that's worn off with the rain, stuff like that. You simply spray on a bottle of release, simply spray it on, let it sit for a couple seconds. And you take a clean white towel that you're going to throw away and you simply wipe it up. No mess, no matter. Simply wipe it off. All the stuff comes onto the stain. It makes the surface so slippery that nothing wants to stick to it. Now the second method is the traditional 
well, this is really big, I better clean the whole thing. Where well, you spray it on, take a brush, and before it dries, you take your cleaner and do a general cleaning, and then you just rinse it off. We're going to wipe it off with a towel here. Both techniques are based on location, how much you got to clean up, that sort of thing to think about. So remember, roofing tar, condensate drip marks, all those things that a water-based cleaner won't get off, release will get it off. It's non-flammable. It's made up of three solvents that make the surface so slippery that things don't want to stick to it. It dissolves even roofing tar on contact, like you can see right there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take over to the fabric and show how it can be done on fabric off of our test sample on the wall. Here we are on our umbrella awning that we cleaned the other day. We're going to put some condensate drip marks on it. This is the heavy wax pencil. Grease pencil, as they used to be called in the old days. We'll take the release and we spray it on the dry surface. Let it soak in. And then give it some brushing. If it gets dry, spritz a little more on it. You want to really solubilize the oils. And then, take your cleaner, while this is all softened up, and emulsify. You get that all the oil-based grease lifted off, but you don't want it to dry in there, so you, you do your general cleaning. And you follow up with the standard water rinse. And basically, that's all there is to it. Let it dry. If the stripes come back, you might have to do it again. If they've been on there too long, they could be chemically burned in where you can only remove 80 or 90 percent of the material okay but once it's dry then you go ahead and reseal it and that will help keep the condensate streaks and drip marks from coming back fabric sealer one would be an excellent or fabric weatherizer